This is Portland. The cool one. Not the boring ass one over in Maine, but you probably already knew that. Now Portland, Oregon is known for numerous things. First off, it's home to over 87 bridges. Look at that one spin around. Each bridge serves the peeps of Portland in its own special way. Watch Desire cross the bridge. Portland is also home to the Will Amet and Columbia Rivers. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Oh, no wonder there are so many bridges. Not everybody has a boat. Ships ahoy. Ooh, look at that Hawthorne Bridge. Opening way back on December 19th, 1910, the Hawthorne Bridge is presently the oldest vertical lift bridge in the United States. And it's used by over 8,000 cyclists today. Good grief. From Hawthorne Boulevard to Madison Street, this badass trusty will get your ass over that Will Amet, Janet. Ew, was that a water spider? Now the, oh boy, are you kidding me, Todd Bridges? What you talking about, honey badger? There's so much culture to Portland, Oregon. Thank goodness the public transportation system is really up to snuff, so you can go around exploring, and there's so many things to see and to do. It's unbelievable, even if it means just sitting in the park, like this gorgeous one, sitting on a bench and enjoying nature. Oh, now here's something you don't see every day. Portland has a very green thumb. In fact, it is known as one of the greenest cities in the world, and they love growing their own fruits and veggies and they have fabulous farmer's markets. There are nearly 600,000 people living in Portland, yet close to 2.3 million living in the Portland metro sexual, I mean metropolitan area. Tats and beards. Look at this guy's whiskers. Who invited the Monchichi? Look at this beard. FYI, Portland has the seventh highest LGBT population in the United States. There's also a fabulous music and film scene here. Countless musicians and filmmakers have come right here from Portland and many successful writers. It's true, Portland loves to read and thank goodness there's Powell's City of Books where people can explore a good book. Oh, look what this smart fellow is reading. Portland also loves its coffee, and on nearly every corner, there's a cafe or a coffee shop serving up liquid crack for all the Portlanders to enjoy. They also love their beers and fresh water. But sometimes, folks go cray cray for those voodoo donuts. Oh, that voodoo that you do. Look at these folks, they can't put it down. If it's nightlife you're looking for, go to Mary's Club featuring their famous goat goat dancers, Roger and Barry. And Stacy with her ever popular spanky spanky tickle me hoof dance. Meanwhile, in Sherwood, Oregon, only 45 minutes away from Portland proper, resides the Wildcat Haven, a loving and caring home for beautiful rescued big cats. Oh, how gorgeous! I think they should change the name of Portland to Foodie Town, because that's just what it is. Everyone here's a foodie. Look at this guy placing his order on his phone. Here's your lunch, stupid. What took you so long? Look, everyone's just waiting around for some scraps. Oh, this is such a hungry city. Portland, a beautiful city with beautiful people. Uh -huh.